Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at um, um, adding a, uh, an updated um, app, regenerating the AAB file and updating your app with Google. There are some new features that we've installed and, um, and uh, they have new permission requirements. So this is the process that we're going to have to take going forward. If your app is using uh, the employee schedule, which has background permissions for um, Geofence push notifications. Um, and there's another feature called Code Check. Um, where that has background uh, features for um, uh, when somebody, when a customer walks into a place of uh, business, uh, a push notification um, is sent to the staff. So it's geo, again, geofenced uh, push notifications sent to staff when somebody walks in. So if you're using those two features um, and the delivery feature as well, if you're using the delivery feature, this is the process you're going to have to take. Okay. So I've just created a new build. I'm going to create a new release for this uh, app admin app. Okay. And I will upload the new build. Um, I'll now push pause while this uploads. Okay, so I've just uploaded my bundle. And when I click next, I will get some warnings. Okay, right here. So I've undeclared foreground permission services. Um, and these two you can disregard. So I'm going to go to the, because um, I'm only using, so in, in, I'm only using right now in this specific app, the employee schedule. So I'm going to go, if you're using two of the features, then you would have two different things here. So I'm going to go to this anyways, go to the declaration. And um, it's asking your app is using, uses the foreground service location permission. Uh, it can only use permission if your app performs tasks noticeable to uh, the user when they're not directly interacting with your app. So again, geofence push notifications. Um, so let's say what, this is the first time I'm doing this, so I'm just, bear with me. Um, User initiated location sharing, geofencing. There you go. Okay, so you can click this or um, uh, other if you want. Every single, uh, every one of these things um, will ask for a video link. Uh, I was doing this the other day and I saw that it also asked for an explanation of how the service is used. I don't see it on this specific app, so I'm not going to go there. You may see that, um, you know, depending on your app, I guess, the features used. Um, so again, I'm going to click you, uh, Geofence push notifications. I've already recorded a video on, on this and I'm going to copy the URL here and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to save. Now I'm going to go to overview and that's it. So I'm going to send this change for review in Google. Uh, now when I go back to my apps, all my apps, you should see this in review. So I just submitted a review, uh, an update for this. I recorded a video on how this, the um, feature works for Google and uh, uh, I've taken the steps needed, um, asked by Google to submit the app for submission. So um, that's what's required. I may record another video and do another uh, an update this as well um, as things progress, but we've made this these features dynamic. So uh, if your app is using them, um, you have to um, declare these permissions. If you're not using these uh, features, then you won't have that uh, thing pop up and you'll just be able to upload um, your build like usual. All right, thanks for watching. As usual, if any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.